Hello everyone and welcome to Jumperman Tech where we specialize in HVAC, we do everything DIY and today we have a follow-up service call for a Lars Hydronic Boiler. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumperman Tech. Today we have a follow-up service call for this boiler. We did get it running last time with this pump. It's locking up and has trouble. It seems like the coupling is bad but the customer wanted to replace the whole system so the pump motor assembly will be replaced in today's video we made this repair last time with that system crazy leaking and look looks like it pretty much stopped i see a tiny drip of water on the bottom that thing ain't even dropping that should get them by because they're getting rid of this whole room in the next two months let's go ahead and get this process started I'm gonna kill the power. All right, so that's good. These two boilers are tied in together, right? So that's that. We're gonna need to cut off the water. Get this started. We got two pipes here. Let's cut the water off. Okay, let's hope these uh, actually hold had a hose down here so these two lines we're gonna drain them out valve here valve here open let's see we got water leaking out down to the floor drain all right power is off confirmed let's take off the electrical here while the system drains out doesn't seem like much is draining out might need to push some air through that line anyways we'll get it going That's one leg there. Oh man, these are some horrible connections in here. Let me take off these connectors so I can pull this out. Let's push these wires out. It's super tight, maybe if I pull them one by one. There we go. Wires are out. This one was just screwed on this connector. Gonna take it out like this. This is 120 volts. Black wire is your hot wire, white wire is your neutral, green is your ground. Go ahead, push this to the side here. The fitting there, electrical is disconnected. Once it's drained, we're gonna take off these bolts, pull this thing out, put it right back in kind of a tight spot. All right, electric goes out. So here we have all these bolts. Behind here is a gasket. This is the motor, this is the pump. Coupling puts it together, pump motor assembly. There is a little drain plug here that might be smart to pull out first. Right here, if we loosen this up, we'll drain this out. I don't really see much uh, coming out of here. We only need some air to push it. Before we pull this whole thing out, it's safer if we pop this open, but let's see if we can do anything else regarding this, I don't really see much coming out. I crack this open a little bit to push some air. And now we got water passing through, that's good. So like this, it has a little air pushing through, you can hear it, and now we're going. If I close this, you see how that stops? You need air to push the water out. Maybe you could take out like a water pressure gauge or something to push air through it, but gonna crack this open and now we have water flowing through not much you want to make sure these valves are holding so you don't want to get hit with that now we've got Chris on this side we're gonna balance the motor so this thing doesn't break and we're pretty much gonna loosen up all these bolts and pull this thing out one by one you don't gotta hold until there's like two bolts left and then we gotta be serious so stop draining, it should be good. Let's pull out these bolts. Pull these out. Leave the two on the edge, watch your hands. You're good until there's two bolts, man. Let's just loosen these all up. And then we're gonna be ready to pull this thing out. All right, get those by hand. 
when there's two left, you're gonna have to really balance it. Careful, a little bit of water might shoot out. All right? Of course. All right, so we're down to two bowls. Should be safe. It's even on each side. You ready? Hold it, hold it good. I'm gonna loosen that up. I'm gonna loosen this one up a bit. Watch your legs though. I got it from here. Move back a little bit. Okay. I'm gonna pull it a little bit. Some water might shoot out, okay? Move right. your hands. Yep. All right, we might, might need to go a little bit more. Right. Just gonna crack it open. Some water might shoot out. That's pretty much there hopefully this thing comes out we had an issue where this freaking pump got stuck in, in the header and we had to replace the header let's see if we can get this out definitely no water okay all right you're gonna want to balance that pump now okay bolt's about to be out okay just stuck on there a little bit. Hold it good. Alright, All right, we're now we're gonna try to get this out. Okay. Don't go too crazy. Hold up. Alright there, watch your hands. Water's gonna come out. Yeah. Alright. I'm gonna leave it like that. Step back, step back. Okay. Oh, it doesn't get on you. Let's let that leak out. It's hot careful put a garbage bag down there all right that popped out it's holding from the bottom okay i got it all right and it's out oh wow impeller is actually damaged wow check the look at that huh of it. Hey Chris, show everybody the wire reel you have for the drill. Oh, gotcha. We're going to use that and clean the surface here. Make sure we have a nice smooth surface so when we put on the gasket, everything's going to go on nice and smooth. All right, man, do your thing. Here's the new pump and this is the gasket. It's, gonna, it's the OEM, everything OEM. Oops, it's out of my fingers. I'm trying to hold the camera with one hand. So the gas is gonna sit like that around this ring. So I wanna make sure it holds on there while you do this. Some anti seize or something might help to keep it on. Yeah, we're better off having it on the pump. Maybe we might put some anti seize or something on here, kind of hold it in place. And we're gonna use this for the bolts as well. This is Permatex anti seize lubricant might hold it up a bit put some of it on here so when i put it on here hopefully it'll help help it stick all right so it's definitely kind of staying in place tricky part is not damaging this when you put it on but anytime i do a replacement like this i always pick up a spare gasket either to keep it stuck or because this thing is going to get torn it's such a poor quality gasket it's like made out of like cardboard or something but it does the job Got some anti seize around the threads for two of them to get them started so we get it mounted and then we'll go one by one and try to get this thing in there. Alright, that's the moment of truth. Gotta get this in smooth, hold it straight. Hold up. Yep. Oh, pop that a little bit. All about this gasket going in smooth very awkward angle all right watch the gasket while i push it in okay put it in place Oh boy. 
careful with your hands because that stuff is going to be everywhere now. All right. Two thousand years later. in the back. Hold up. We're not there. Right here. Okay. All right. All right. That's going to help hold it. Let's get another bolt in and have this balanced. Okay, tighten that. Tighten that. You tie the one, then you tie the one across the other side. Then let's say we do this one. A little tight in here. Let's say we do this one. We're just gonna snug them all first. And then we do the one on the opposite end. But you're good from here, it's, it's holding itself. So we're just gonna cross each one. And then we're gonna open up the water once we know everything is snug. Make sure there's no leaks. All right, that's the hardest part. Getting that thing on there with the gasket. Hate that part. Haven't even been here a long time. Sweating like crazy. This room is super hot. Had a bit of an issue. Look at this. It's not going in there nicely. It's not like catching right. Okay, maybe now. We'll see. Oh boy, I hope this thing holds and the threads inside that are not bad. The old bolts are the shorter ones, but this one came with newer bolts. Put the newer one on here and that seemed to catch. Part of the inside on this is actually breaking apart. Let's see what we can do if we can get this going, man. Ah, it's the last thing we need right now. You're not getting that part today. See if that catches further down. Had to repeat the process on a few of them. Shorter bolts weren't catching inside, but the longer bolt it catches the thread deeper down into this header. So it looks like everything is pretty much snug now. We're gonna open up the water and uh, test the leaks. If this works, we're golden. Open it slowly, all right? Just cr crack it open and stop when you hear water passing through. Cracked open. Slowly. It's open? Yep. Yeah. Alright, let's open the next one slowly. Let me know. Alright, fully open. Fully open. Alright. It's looking good. It's looking good. Let's keep an eye on this. I opened up those valves. Dump a little water out, make sure there's no air inside here. Got good movement. There is a vent somewhere. But anyways, let's open up this electrical panel here. This is where everything comes in. Let's see what kind of setup we have here. Oh man, this thing is going to come out. There we go. Oh, it's nice. Put the gasket in here. Alright, this one's going to be as simple as it gets. Some of these are dual motors, but this is as straightforward as it gets hot line right black to black this is 120 volts by the way white line neutral white to white this is your ground wire green to green so we're pretty much gonna match everything up we're gonna push this wires back through this little gasket here doing this with one hand so you guys can see that's gonna fit back on there then you tighten this down you make this uh, leak proof connection this one just threaded on to the old one, so we do need a ring for this one. There's actually already an opening on the bottom. You guys can see right there. And we're just gonna go with that. But I need to get a ring. I'm pretty sure I got one in my bag. It's the little lock ring. So once you push this through the hole, you're gonna go over the wires and tighten this down. Green to green, black to black, white to white. Why are not them? 
all right put them in place and close the cover all right that right there is a beautiful thing all right valves all fully open moment of truth oh just started nice and quiet nice and quiet that's beautiful 104 degrees out temperature let's give it a chance to start it does work with the other one you can see right in there i don't know if you guys can tell but the shaft is spinning that's great but we got no leaks beautiful all right let's give it a chance all right time's coming up let's go we're already satisfied in temperature this is actually the one where we took the ignition control out of it put it in the other one and we came back put in the ignition control and we replaced the hot service igniter which was the real issue here so this thing got a new ignition control new hot service igniter and new pump and we reached temperature we're good to go here they said in about a month in four to six weeks this whole room is going to be cut out so the engineers here already planning this out this is the piping we rebuilt here that was a freaking nightmare for real for real that thing is working and two other boilers we fixed here all within a matter of about four days but yeah that's uh quite some work in here should keep them going to the end but yeah it's definitely time to go and that's it i'm gonna wrap this video up here if anyone found this video interesting or helpful please drop a like comment and subscribe as i come out with new videos every week and i'll catch you all next time